Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about news for Rust Console 1.04 update. It's not out yet, but I'm just going to be talking about it, at least for, for what we know. Sorry if you guys can hear my PS4 in the background, or my fan. I know it's annoying. Sorry. I will try to get that fixed. But um, if you guys do want to stay up to date with any Rust Console news, this is the best place to be. I would subscribe right now. I'm going to be... I'm gonna be like, you know, whenever an update comes out, I'm gonna tell you guys about it, I'm gonna go over it, I'm gonna show you guys stuff. I'm gonna be in, well, basically in Rust Console news. So if you guys do wanna know, just you guys wanna be stay up to date with Rust Console and any news about it or anything about it, I think this is the place to be. Subscribe right now. And make sure you have notification bell so you guys never miss any video. So I do not want you guys to miss like when an update comes out and you don't know about it. I can I'll make a video on it as soon as it comes out. So make sure you guys are subscribed for that stuff. So let's get it right into this. So the first report that are known issues that they know about and that's in progress right now is the red X not appearing on trees. You'll be hitting a tree and then sometimes it will not appear at all. They're fixing that right now. Like you'll hit a tree, this happens to me a lot. I'll hit like I'll hit it the tree like three or four times. Then then that red X just goes into um it just goes in the tree and you can't even see it at all. The next one is F S P or FPS drop where like your game will just freeze for five seconds or the frames will just go down really bad when like, you're in the middle of gunfights or anything. So that's very bad. They're fixing that right now. Servers disappearing. I never had this happen to me, but I guess other people are experiencing this. Are experiencing this. I'm sorry for people who are experiencing that. I guess not, it's not probably one of the worst bugs, but it is kind of annoying if your server's not on there. So that they're fixing that right now. Rock gl rock glint not appearing. They're fixing that right now. Like you'll, you, it's the same thing as the tree where you'll be hitting a rock and this doesn't even appear at all. Or like right now, see that? Look, see right here. I'm mining this rock and I don't even see the glint at all. Yeah, that, that, that glitch happens a lot. Um, next one, they're fixing that. Next one is to create and join team issues. I never experienced any issues with the team. I guess people have, and they're fixing that right now. Sound and audio issues. I did experience this a lot. It's where like sometimes like my friend will be chopping down a tree, and then when he stops, I still hear like the swinging of the axe or something. It's very annoying. That that's an issue they need to fix right now. Which they are. This one, this is, they know about this one, but it's not in progress, or it might be right now. This is hard crash randomly as players' n numbers crept up. This is just happened to me. I was in the middle of making this. I was trying to make a different, I was trying to make a video, and then it just, my game just crashed. Everything just crashed, so that, that sucks, and it does that a lot. They're, they're, that's, they know about that. Next one is flame turret animation problems. I know there's one with, like, it's like, um, like the white smoke will appear out, which is very bad. That's annoying. But yeah, that does happen. Teams being deleted never happened to me, but I guess that's happening. That they know about that. Um, airdrop invisible. This happened to me so many times, but it actually helped in my favor. Uh, I didn't. No one seen the airdrop but me and this one other kid, and I, I killed them and I got the airdrop, so I was happy about that because it was invisible. And my friend, he's seen it from he. I don't know how he's seen it. Like he, had, he had to look at a certain angle and he's seen it. It's like there's an airdrop over there. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go for it. And I went for it and I got it. All right, here's ones that are in progress. Oh, it's the one I was just talking about. Um, let's see. Expect this is expected to be fixed in the 1.04 patch or the next patch. Aim assist. I are the aim assist feature not live or like even though your server has aim assist, it's not like, showing up that it, you can put it on or anything. Respawning and dying issues. This happens a lot whenever you're trying to kill and respawn really fast. It never. It, sometimes it will work and sometimes it won't. It happens to me a lot. Player movement, sprint and auto sprint and not working. Yeah, this happens to me a lot. So they're fixing that right now. That this is expected to be in the next patch. Next one is the auto turns containing more more than one ammo case or clip case firing after or, or clip cease or case or no yeah cease firing after reloading. So that's what's going to be fixed in the next update or the next patch. Let's go to the next one. This is what's next. With the release for the 1.03 for both platforms, the crash rate went down significant or significantly. Sorry. I'm not, I'm not really, I'm not really, I can't even speak right now. <laughs> Still work to be done. We are happy. Therefore, our main focus remains improving the ov overall stability and performance of the game and, and the servers. We want everyone to be able to enjoy the game and it has to offer without crashes, freezes, server kicks, or bugs affecting the way players experience the game. The skin store is coming. Monument update and co new contents too soon, or too soon, as soon. As we are most, are we are sure the most critical issues are addressed. The good news is that, is that we are in the process, the process of bringing the staging branch online as soon as we can, 
as soon as as soon as we can for our deluxe and ultimate edition owners because people who bought the deluxe and ultimate edition i guess they get to try it out first or whatever i guess people like me who had a, i didn't buy the deluxe or ultimate i bought the 50 dollar one um we don't get that first i guess or something that's, that's just what it's saying here i think so yeah it says stage and branch online as soon as we can for our deluxe and ultimate edition owners mean meaning new content extending will be able to reach for the ones who want to have a sneak pizza uh, what's to come and wants to come. We know that this can be frustrating to some of you who are suffering from any in-game issues. We do not want anyone to feel like they've been left out. We will dive deeper on what is available in the staging branch as soon as we have a release date for it. It should not take long. This is ready for the next wipe. This is three days ago. We already know this. This is um, the new month of wi or wipe is right around the corner. Within hours of posting this, perfect opportunities for our new players to start thinking of the best strategy to tackle in the month of July. New man or new maps, new maps will be available. Um, I have a really good map right now. Um, we can't we can't wait for you guys to explore them. Yeah, the, all the maps are really cool. I've seen some. The, the the true rust experience comes from from form of these monthly wipes. It's it's um important that these that the game the game that these servers remain the main focus of us console experience. Beta skins. The skin store might be delayed. But we want players to be able to, uh, to be able to express themselves with cosmetics. We know how important this is for some of you. Our QA department is the final stages of testing the beta skins. We are excited to get them to um, everyone who participated in the beta test before July 8th, hopefully sooner, but subject to change or subject to change. If you haven't seen them yet, be sure to visit one of our old blog posts where we reveal the skins and talk more about what's to come for the um, come for the future of us console. Oh. Be I'll probably make, I'll read that later. 1.04 is in the works. We, with the patch 1.04, we, we, we aim to bring some more crash fix fixes as well as tackle some bugs that we consider game breaking, especially the ones occurring in Bandit Camp. I think they're talking about the one like um, the recycler, when people sit up in the corner of the recycler and just just sit there and just kill people who are trying to scrap, or who are trying to scrap their stuff or whatever, that's annoying. Hopefully once the patch is released, we can start focusing on more future content features that are sure to make your West Control experience even more exciting. And they talk about monuments and stuff, which is going to be cool. I want, I, want, I want cargo really bad and oil rig, but I don't know how cargo will work. Wouldn't that like kind of make your, like, because right now, like, uh, the game's already laggy, but when they fix it, it could work better. But I know cargo, but that's a moving monument, or I don't, it's not even a monument. I think it is. I'm new, no new to Rust, sorry. But, um, yeah. I think that that might make your game lag really bad because it's it's a moving it's moving and stuff and it's gonna have like scientists it's gonna, it's gonna be moving it's a really big ship that might make it lag really bad but um, I'll keep on reading more we or more will be revealed once we have a detailed version of the roadmap um, I will be making a video on that but know that we plan to support this game for a very long time thank you so much for all the support you've been showing for the game the team will work. Or keep working to provide the best experience, um, and hopefully you keep having fun. A lot of fun. Have a great week. Sorry if I see your name wrong. It's Pedro or Pedro Silva or Saiva. I'm sorry if I said it wrong. But yeah, that that's the whole blog post and everything. I'll go quickly click on the beta skin thing. This is just showing the um, beta skins. It's I think it's I think it's, like it's it, everything's all white. It has like a red X in it. It comes with a rock, AK, I think. I think armor too. I don't know for sure. I seen them like a quick little glimpse of them. That was really it. I know it has. I know it's all white with the red X in it. So that's pretty cool for the people who played in beta. People like I didn't. I wasn't able to play in beta, so that does suck. But don't worry. We're gonna still get that garage door skin. That one um, it was like a hazmat suit with the crown on it. We're gonna be able to get that for the people who played. I think. I think the first week of West console. Yeah. Which I did, so I'm gonna be able to get that beta skin, or I'll be able to get that garage door skin, which is cool. I think most of you guys will be able to too. I'm gonna end it off here. Hopefully, you guys all have a great day. Um, uh, make sure you guys do subscribe. Have a good day. Peace out.